How to use Hubstaff as an employee. Hi there, today we will learn about what is Hubstaff and how you will be able to use it as an employee. First thing, what is Hubstaff? It actually is a time tracking and a productivity monitoring software that is commonly used by businesses to manage remote teams and track employee activities. It offers a wide range of features designed to help organizations monitor and optimize their workforce productivity, particularly for remote or distributed teams. This platform actually offers a lot of features and functionalities where one of them is time tracking, employee monitoring, it also provides productivity analytics, project management, payroll and invoicing integration, and also GPS and location tracking. But it is an important note that while Hubstaff provides tools to monitor employees' productivity, it is still essential to establish clear communication and expectation with employees regarding the use of such software to ensure privacy and transparency. For us to begin here is that you actually need to have your employee create an Hubstaff account first. They actually have here a 14-day free trial. If you haven't created an account yet, you, you can click on this button here. And then your employer will fill out all these details on what the full name of your employer is, the work email, and the password that they will create. Once done, you just need to agree to the terms, privacy, and policy, and just click on create account. Before we proceed, what they need to do is to click on verify email. And for you to get started, it's either you can um, create here or click as a business owner or a team member. If your um, boss already created a Hubstaff account, what you can do is click on a team member and there's a few details that is actually needed where it can only be accessed by your owner or by your employer. So here, when you click on join as a team member, this is what you will be routed to, where you actually need to send a request to join, where you can actually um, input here the email of your organization owner. So for this to happen, you need to make sure that, or your employer needs to create the account first, before you will be able to request to join. So once you send or input the email here, Hubstaff will be sending a notification into your owner's end, and then they will be the one to accept your request so that you will be able to access your own Hubstaff account as an employee. So here, one of the options here is that where does your team work? So when you click on as a business owner, you will need to choose those information or you can skip that option. And then for you to create your organization, you need to input your organization name, your website. But if you don't have one, you can just check the box. And you can also indicate as well what or how many people are into your team. Or is it just you or you have two to ten people? Or you also have an industry or what industry you are in. So let's say freelancing. And then here, they will also ask in how you found out about Hubstaff. And you can even invite a team member here. So you can input the email of your team member. And then when they click on the email, they will automatically be added into your Hubstaff account as a business owner. When you click on continue, you will be routed into this page. They will ask on what do you wish to do with Hubstaff? So you can either click on monitor this type of activity, approve timesheets, schedule shifts and time off. And then you can just click on, I only need time tracking and then just click on continue. So here you can actually add your project name. So let's say, what are your, how you will be using or what is your main use for, for example, you're a freelancer. So you have the option whether it's a virtual assistant or you also have another option here, whether you're a video editor, you can use that option. But here, once you click on continue, you need to choose a plan for your team. So let's say you're only using Hubstaff for time tracking. You have actually options here to use Time Starter, which is at five, um, 
five dollars but you also have here a desk where just a proof of work and time tracking with team management where they offer a free option and here on your field it's actually for a larger team that you can use so here i'll just click on desk and i'll choose desk free so that there um, it costs us nothing to create an account so for example i'm currently using a business owner um perspective here so what you can do here is you can actually invite your team members so that they will be able to have access into your Hubstaff account and then you can start tracking their progress or their work. So here they will actually provide a demo through a video once you have created an account here on Hubstaff where you just need to click on play or you can just go to your dashboard if you don't wish to look into the video. And here, this is your dashboard. That's how you will be able to preview um, your account. So for example, um, you also have here, so let's say, we'll click on dashboard and you will be able to see all of the informations here. This is um, actually including your team member. So you can actually track your team member's activity. What are the insights? You can actually look into how many times or hours they spent into a specific project. You'll be able to look into the status of your team members and their projects as well. You can track their time here. They also have here the project budgets. You can also track here the to-do list and you can also look into the apps and URLs being used. On the left side panel here, you'll be able to see your navigation tools where you can click on the timesheets. This is where you will be able to schedule the time for your team on what time or how long would a specific project take to finish. And you can also set their time in and time out here as well into the timesheet. Here on Directivity, this is where you will be able to access the spreadsheets um, these are the um, status or an analytics on how your how productive your team is. So once you have a team member here, um, as a business owner, you can actually track their um, work time, their average activity, their focus time, meeting time, and a lot more. You also click on apps here on your activity. You will be able to see on what are the apps that your team member is using and what are the most apps that they are currently into so here under insights this is an analytics or this actually analyzes whether the um, your team is progressing into their projects or into their work or how or whether the graph or they're quite slow with finishing their project you can actually track on that as well so here under project management you can track the projects that or you can add the projects or manage the projects that you have into your business you can actually add the to-do list as well and assign that to your team members and you can also log or input as well the clients you have for your business so here you can see that um, here under reports you have a lot of options where you depending on what type of report you want to generate you can actually look into that as well and here on people you can look into your contacts your team members your clients and a lot more and under financials this is where you can send your payments to your team and you can also track as well their transactions or the payment history on um, how many or what were the earnings that your employee had for the past months here under settings, there are basic settings where you can um, manage the features, the integrations on your account, the security login, the billing information, the billing history, you can change your billing address or billing and payment methods. You can actually go to general settings where this is where you can input details about what your business is about. And here under features, you can 
um, check um, the different process or you can also look into integrations where it does not only offer Hubstaff but they actually offer other applications or platforms like ClickUp, Breeze, Asana, um, payment options as well like PayPal, Payoneer, Wise and here for the last option is for billing where this is how you will be able to set up your card information this is where you will be able to track your billing history and you can even upgrade your plan here as well. And that's basically it. Once as an employee, this may not be what it would look like on your end. But what you will do here is that send the email or your work email and then help staff will do the work for you where they will be sending the request and your owner will accept your request as part of the team. And that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching.